Father Tom Uzuna Neal, an Indian priest, has been freed after 18 months in captivity. To help me get released and thus to save my life. Father Tom was kidnapped in March 2016 in Yemen. In a statement, the Vatican says the Holy See fervently thanks all of those who worked for his release. Juliet Lindley is EWTN News Nightly's new Vatican correspondent. She joins us from Rome. Juliet, tell us about the circumstances surrounding Father Tom's abduction and what we know about his release. Father Tom is a Salesian priest who was working as a chaplain at a home for elderly people in the southern Yemeni city of Aden. When armed militants broke into the center, they destroyed the chapel, they destroyed the center, and they killed 16 people, including four nuns, and took Father Tom hostage, and he was held for 18 months. The good news now is that he has been released. Yemeni government confirmed that. That is the good news, and he is also in good health, reportedly, and apparently he is being flown to Rome for medical checks. During his abduction, I remember that he used social media to call for help. What did he say? We have that terrible picture of him. Yes, immediately after he was uh, taken hostage, Pope Francis denounced the attack as a diabolical act of violence. And soon after, uh, a video appear appeared on YouTube in which the priest appeared, appealed for, for his release. And he did make a point of saying that he believed that his nationality, the fact that he was Indian, was sort of a detractor and that his, his uh, being held hostage wasn't taken as seriously because he was not a European priest. And he indicated that, that he believed that uh, he would be taken more seriously had he been European. But good news, he has been released the now. The Pope is very sensitive, Juliet, to the persecution of religious minorities all around the world. How has he been showing his concern? The Pope, in two months' time, is due to make another apostolic trick. He's just back from visiting Colombia for five days, as we know, and he is due to visit Myanmar and Bangladesh. Now, hundreds of thousands of Muslim Rohingya in Myanmar have been fleeing religious persecution. They've been fleeing to neighboring Bangladesh, um, where they have been taken in. But the two refugee camps, the two official refugee camps, where the refugees stay are full. And in fact, today, the Prime Minister of Bangladesh made an appeal to Yangon, asking that the refugees be taken back. Uh, in neighboring India, the Pope is not slated to visit India in this upcoming trip. However, Vatican insiders do say that probably he will make a trip there in the not too distant future where uh, Christian minorities have been persecuted increasingly in recent times. Thank you so much for your insight, Juliet Lindley, EWTN News Nightly's new Vatican correspondent. Thank you.